will also be increasing capacity. The situation in Syria is getting worse. The violence is causing widespread destruction and having a devastating impact on the lives of ordinary Syrian women, men and children. We are crossing conflict lines, negotiating with armed groups on the ground to reach more people in need. But we're not reaching enough of those who require our help. Limited access in the north is a major problem that we can only solve using alternative methods of aid delivery. We are watching a humanitarian tragedy unfold before our eyes. We must do all we can to reassure the people that we care and that we will not let them down. In delivering humanitarian aid, you have to seek the consent of the affected uh, country. That is the government of Syria. The government of Syria have made it very clear that they will uh, not accept uh, uh, materials coming over from the border with uh, Turkey. So without uh, a separate uh, Security Council uh, resolution, the United Nations and its partners are not able to come across that border. That is why we have focused on cross-line and being able to take things from government to opposition-controlled areas inside Syria itself. If this crisis continues to drag on, the impact in terms of what is happening to people on the ground, what is happening to those who are fleeing across the border into neighboring countries, what is happening in terms of uh, the impact in terms of uh, loss of life, uh, it will just become bigger and bigger. Just in the last two months, over 250,000 people, 255,000, have fled into neighboring countries. These numbers, they are not sustainable.